And as we keep an eye on the tropics, we're also learning about a newly developed model. NOAA says it provides more accurate forecast information. Florida 24 reporter Sophia Hernandez shares how it works. It's called the Hurricane Analysis and Forecast System. We are sowing the seeds for the next generation already, basically. A product that has taken three years to develop. Sundar Raman Gopalakrishnan, known as Gopal, is a senior meteorologist who leads the team. He says this model provides a more high resolution picture above land and water, not just being able to track a storm, predict intensity and winds, but also provide more accurate information when it comes to what happens during and after a storm, like storm surge, tornado threats, and rainfall. People want details more than ever, basically. So it's not track intensity now the hazard related after landfall. How it works is the model uses telescopic nests. It allows researchers to zoom in on hurricanes more closely and see them more clearly. It's like the high resolution TV, you better resolve it, you get better structures. If you look at a global model, which is at 27 kilometers, you might miss some of these details basically. And these details and those interactions are more critical for measuring the intensity or improving the intensity predictions in the world. The model uses satellites and data from NOAA's Hurricane Hunters and the U.S. Air Force Reserve. Gopal says the new model has already shown a 10 to 15 percent improvement compared to previous models. But there are still gaps in the model when it comes to the area where the ocean and atmosphere meet, the place where hurricanes either lose or gain strength. But Gopal assures the work to create newer and better models does not stop here. His lab, along with others that are part of the unified forecast system, hope in the near future they will be able to study multiple storms at once, as each tropical cyclone, even miles apart, affects the progress of others. But for now, they hope to put this new model to use next week, working to bring us the most accurate data as storms begin to roll through our waters. Sophia Hernandez, Florida 24 Network.